Hello, everybody. Just about ready to get started. Welcome, Murphy. Can't wait till we hear this song in game. I look forward to it. Might happen today. I'm not sure what the quest order is yet. So yeah, we uh, cleared a lot of quests. We're going to be placing down... Let's see, is that artifact number... 17 out of 26. So in terms of artifacts, we're pretty much at the end of the game. And considering we're still holding like five in our inventory, there's not too many more locations to add. Let's go ahead and pause the music. Guess we'll jump into the game itself. Hopefully you're doing well, Chris. Let me enlarge the chat so I can read your messages a little better. That's a little easier on my eyes. We made fantastic progress. It's stormy, so may or may not lose internet. That's unfortunate. Hopefully the storm dies down. 11 hours in and we're still on track for the 100%. Nothing has happened out of order so far. Sorry you haven't been sleeping too well, Chris. As a reminder, we're on event number 35. We've cleared everything in here so far, and some of these are long quests. Um, I guess I could, in theory, bring Bud, but you know what? I just like my Stumlock solo. If we are playing multiplayer, I would have been all about bringing Bud or Lisa with us, just to show them off. But the fact that they could just interrupt my combo randomly, I'm like, nah. <laughs> Sorry, chat. Like, they definitely help with normal encounters, but... Getting trolled on, on certain harder boss fights is a really bad feeling. Yeah, I'll probably ban myself from making any more crafted items, unless it's just like a really basic material. So basically, there's a, a whole set of alloys we haven't seen still, and I would like to get them at some point. That way we can actually do some damage with our weapon. We saw briefly what happens from a plus five, Adding in almost like two light strikes worth of damage. Just imagine if I had like a, a 68 strength sphere, how broken the game would be. So silly. Anyway, I'm going to, out of fear of not wanting to lose the 100%, I'm going to double check where this has to be placed. So. Of course it gets placed there, of course it does. Uh. I don't even remember when we picked this up, I'll be real with you. I know we got the green cane in the last quest, the gold seed was from the orchard. Frozen heart is question mark, question mark, question mark. Did we get that from... Lark? I really don't remember. It feels like an eternity ago we've had that. Let's see, this should be directly below the bone fortress. Yes. So unfortunately, we have to do the long walk of shame to go there because I didn't connect any of the properties. But some of the board creation can be very silly. This is now the furthest from the house that we've been so far. Oh boy, do I remember order to go through here. I think our goal is to go below us at some point, but I think I have to go up first. We're, we're testing my I, have you played it in 20 years memory. Kratos, there's no such thing as a fairy treasure. Your deceased wife will not come back to life. Can't look back. We're getting a follow-up on this guy, of all people. Oh, I go back to my students. I'll not find fairy treasure here, young traveler. I ended up getting turned into an ice statue by a nice witch. Just like my brother. Oh, ominous. Meanwhile, Chocobo is just living its best life. Kevin just like photobombing like, every encounter that we're in. Oh my gosh, I actually have green health now? 
Kind of moving up in the world. I'm not just instantly dead now. Oh, whoa. That's how much our light damage does? Nice damage increase. Checking. Did I assign moves? Did. Okay. Never be too sure sometimes. It was a little unnecessary. Love the chocobo just hard out XPing us because we're splitting our XP with the chocobo. Technically makes the game harder. That's fun. We like a little bit of challenge. I say, is it just instant? St stun lock all those poor enemies. Yeah, speaking of which, remind myself, what skill am I trying to learn right now? I have Moon Salt and Double Jump One, so I believe I was just looking to unlock. What's the name of the skill? Do I have that ability? I thought I did. The Raging Fury was the last one that we unlocked. Oh, I actually don't have that. I'm missing one lower on the list. We have a fantastically ridiculously named ability. Oh no, no I'm looking at the wrong list. That would explain. Disregard. It is called Angelic Lumberjack, and I'm like, wait a minute, that sounds like an axe skill. It was. I disappointed myself in real time. The Raging Fury was the last one that we picked up. I believe I was just trying to get low and behold up. So let's let's do a counting mini game chat. You're gonna have help me count to 16. We're at two. Three battle plus ones. Kevin's the true main character. It's true. He already saved two boss battles technically. Him just existing. Save the run. Here, I gotta finish the combo. Got interrupted. I should kill though. So much XP. It's probably will level me. I was gonna say, when that when there's that much roll XP there. People would care about Kevin more. I was gonna say, there's technically an anime for this show. I don't think it's any good. But it does technically exist, in theory. They went for the, what is assumed to be the normal order of the game, where you're supposed to be doing stuff with the laser early. Where we ignored a laser for like 40% of the game. <laughs> we legitimately put like 12 or like 10 relics down before we bothered talking to them. Kinda brutal. I think I gotta go this way first. Unless that can hit an AoE. Oh, I, I well, I'm, if the show is following the correct order, it's like a laser first, and then it ignores a lot of the side quests. Let's interrupted my combo. Good sure. Pointless.
Pack up your belongings. We're leaving. What about the fairy treasure? We'd much rather see ourselves alive. Let's go. But, but your brother lost his life looking for the treasure. You're looking for the treasure to save your brother, right? I believe that fairy treasure lets you meet the deceased. Perhaps he was reunited with his wife through death. Hey, dot dot dot. Mr. Mephany is. What is it? Can we sit by the fire just a bit longer? Go ahead. Knock out dust. Probably nothing of interest in the chest, sadly. Like, this game does have treasure to loot, but like 90% of the time it's pointless. I mean, Anacritos has a new life now. But. You students stay here. I'll be right back. Mr. Mephides? It's a nice switch up ahead. I'm gonna go home. There are rumors that monsters and ice witches lurk here. Mr. Mephides might be scared of them. Well, time to go find the ice witch. Oh, hopefully chat's been keeping track. I think we're at four. Specifically battles that we're doing. So I'm gonna assume I have literally potentially zero in one of the categories. This will be five once we're done with this. I was about to say I hope we get a spear and it's not terrible and it looks absolutely trash. Disappointing. I mean, we could get like a genuine upgrade. The game just doesn't want to give it to us, sadly. I'm surprised that crap. Be real with you. That was the most generous hitbox I've ever seen. Oh, Kevin! Kevin with the kill steal. Damn, Kevin better than me, chat. He's like, this is how it's done. Got schooled by the bird. Speaking of which, is he higher level than me yet? Yes. He's he's been XP stealing from us, so he's just been gradually out leveling us. It's kind of funny. I think up here is just items. I might as well check check what's up here. Six. Unless I miscounted. Double item. Interesting. Coral. Eh. Kevin is starting Dominic's exactly. Just put one foot out, fight over. Yeah, what items are over here? Angel Feather? Okay, that's fine. Sleepy Eye? No. Oh, there's a down path here. I don't think I've ever taken this before. Where does this even lead us? I imagine at some point one of these has to be a dead end for monster collection. A lot of rabbis, by the way. Damn, Kevin's just not even participating in battle. We gotta get him more aggressive. Like, genuinely. He's just not even attacking. I mean, he's unkillable, so they can waste all the time they want with him. It's not gonna do anything. Of course, he leveled again. That was... six? Nice rapid cancel. Controller's a bit sensitive today, as per usual. I'll take the twister, honestly. When they're that low, at least it'll kill. Lo and behold has been learned. Interesting. I must have hit the minimum number of moon salt needs, which is good. Now, lo and behold is done. Let's go back to. Maybe spin plus retreat. That way I can start learning the other skill. We need 26 uses of spin, 20 in evade. I don't think we have the evade or the defensive lunge. So I'm looking to get through retreat first. Shadow help me count again. I'm gonna count to 12.
Did you not call me an ice witch a while ago? Say him have a chance, that's true. I'm sorry, but please tell me the truth, please. How many times do I have to tell you that he's alive? You are the one who is telling everyone that I killed him. He dot dot dots. Oh, so you still don't believe me, do you? Please understand, he was my only brother. I just did not want to believe it. Is that really na Nacratos? His magical powers were amazing. To survive in this brutal environment, he became a snow monster. He's still waiting for the fairies at the Garden of Icicle Flowers. Nacratos, what a fool you are. You cannot do anything to fairies that way. Nacratos no longer has a human mind. You know that, don't you? This is the truth you refuse to hear until now. Icicle disaster! I wish to free Nacratos. Only if I could send him to the underworld, where his wife awaits him. Is that what you wish to do? Go right ahead. Exactly, just no monster through. If he's no longer human, I cannot kill my own brother. Go ahead, if you want to fight the snow monster. Oh, I love murdering things. Right, chat? That's my specialty. This will be one. We have to count to 12. And I get rid of retreat. I'm just making sure we have the bare minimum. And if I happen to go over, because I forgot how many times we needed to use retreat to learn the other things, that's also fine, because we need potentially higher levels for anyway for other characters. Or other weapon abilities, I mean. I believe this should be boss time. Oh, we're not. Uh, what's over here? Oh, that is the boss. Wait, what was in the bottom right, then? Bye. <laughs> right, chat? Right, chat? Bye! What was over here? Was it gonna be monster recruitment? Oh, no, it's one of these. Fine. Well, we found out how to get more things here. Stupid thing. I have one instrument. This is so sad. Oops. Dated. Least favorite mechanic. One day, it'll, we'll have something that it loves. There we go. Are you seriously stuck up there? Game, please. <laughs> I'm getting actively trolled. I hate this mini game. Please go towards me. Thank you. No. Yes. No. Yes. Is that as far as you can go? No, you can go further down. You're just actually trolling. Man, it's like teching all over again, Chad. There we go. Aura Silver. What a completely pointless minigame. SC1 Dragoon Pathfinding? I see SC and I think Soul Calibur, but I'm like, that can't be right. I am now confused. Oh, StarCraft. Anyway, time to murder. Oh, there's Kevin. What a <laughs> trolling the cutscene as usual. What a pro. Sadly, he's like a weird walrus thing. He stomps. Kevin actually doing the damage of the group. Damn, Kevin's going in. Stunlock is real, by the way. Oh. <laughs> and I stunned him. Nice. There's like a little bit of a rhythm to it. Let's see what he has. Oh, 
Oh, he's so invulnerable. I didn't think his move would go on that long. Wow, Kevin took 56% damage. So that would have one-shot me? Question mark? Is, I, he has more than 33% uh, more health than I do. By like a lot, a lot. He's at like 380, I'm at 200. Suddenly snowman. You should be GG. Oh, never mind, our damage is terrible. Got the stun on him though. Oh, just need a little more damage. I think or or not, he stepped out of the damage. There we go. Up to heaven he goes, chat. Yes, he summoned Snowman on us. We level Kevin again, because of course. He's starting to laugh us at HP again. You freed him for me. Thank you. Now, how do you feel? Not so great. You still don't believe me, do you? We stop talking about that, it's over now. Oh, you need to make eye contact when speaking. That's important, you know. We got Rusty Anchor. With no context. I'm not even sure who gave it to us there. Can't look back. You did. <laughs> just like, here's an anchor, right, Chad? I mean, it's just like, okay. Oh, we are actually doing the final Erwin event. Well, that didn't take very long. I thought we were going to do more quests in between. Hmm. This is going to be interesting. You <laughs> need to look at me, there's a little anchor on my shoulder. We're channeling our inner Sahad. <laughs> yeah, we... No, we were just investigating him, Chris. <laughs> Just, just a very innocent investigation. I'm sorry, Chad. That will, that will forever be one of the dumbest moments of all time. I will always reference that game. The game is hilariously dumb. <laughs> it gets me every time. <laughs> oh, Zestaria, you're something else. I guess I'll put more seeds in. I guess. We'll do double long here. Uh, I guess to give context for people that haven't seen it, there's a very... Well, I'm going to call it an infamous moment in Zestaria where you are you enter another town and your party says that they're going to investigate the Pope. And they're just saying, like, oh, we're going to do this peacefully. Everything will be okay. And within, like, ten minutes of that cutscene, you, you kill said character. I don't even mean, like, accidentally. Like, you just straight up murder them. And I'm like, what? <laughs> that's not what an investigation means. Oh, game. <laughs> like, even literally on, on the way to talk to him, they're like, no, no, we're just going to investigate him. You got investigated real hard, chat. I don't remember if that's in a Twitch moment, though. It's like, there's like just enough game time in between. I don't know if it ended up being in there. Yeah, it, it, it really is funny. It's like within 10 minutes of that, you're literally killing said character. Uh, what gets rid of laziness? Wish I had a better chart for this. Because I think right now it's causing him to not attack. So I'm seeing what the alternatives are. Um, I wish I had Dice Berry, but I'm not planting a lot of Crooked Seeds. Um, hmm. <laughs> Here's an investigation in quotes. Allegedly, they didn't want to kill him, but it was like the first thing that they did. Allegedly. 
Is there really nothing that ups aggressiveness other than pumpkin? That kind of sucks. Oh. If I do small plus... or flat and flat, I could get these other ones. Damn, I don't have these. Man, I just want something that doesn't... Oh, cornflower. Do I have cornflower? I think I do. Oh, do I really not? Wow, I must have used it already. Unfortunate. Uh, I got another Spring Nana, right? That'll remove indecisiveness. I'll take that. Cherry Bomb, I think, is fine. Spring Nana, we got a spare of. I think I care about these other abilities. The problem is, as I said before, we, we need to get, like, a variety of plants. I've only been planting, like, three types, and I just got punished hard. None of these give me anything that I want. Uh, I'll check one more plant to see if I got a choice here. Yeah, like, technically... Do I have a Capadillo? That's actually not a bad thing to feed. It makes the pet tankier. Might as well do that. That that game that game is so full of memes. If you haven't watched us do that playthrough before, that that game start to finish we made fun of. It has so many classic lines like "keep on keep it on." In context of where it's used, hilariously stupid. I love it. Never change the stereo. You big and small to maybe get another C type. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it was one of those ones where, in theory, I could have played the DLC for the game, and I was like, hell no. <laughs> it's like, no, 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 no. We we stick around for the dumpster fire. That is the other thing. Also, before I forget, let me make sure we do this. Who likes snowmen? So anyway, uh, the Cabadillo will increase the defense of the creature by 0.5, so I need two of them to give him extra defense. But it, it can scale. So if I give him, like, three Cabadillos for, like, five levels in a row, it's kind of insane. He'll, he'll way out-tank us, comparatively. He already has way more HP than us. So hopefully this will make him aggressive enough. Yeah, I didn't think we were literally going to go finish this, like, right after this, but I, I guess we're gonna go meet Erwin again. She's just sleeping. Oh no, is there an emulator bug? Oh no, is this not completable? <gasps> oh. It glitched. GG chat, it's just supposed to not be here. Oh no, that's so sad. <sighs> emulator glitch. Of all the things, that is so brutal. Is it because it couldn't load the background image? Might as well as dizzy myself. Let me go, chat. I'm just gonna spin real quick. Huh. Hello, everybody. I think I'm ready to get started. Welcome, Dango. Let's chat. So. I'm not entirely sure if we'll get past the soft lock with this, but I did move it off of the PS3. So we're, we're gonna go for round two. Downside, it's gonna take like 40 minutes or so before we know whether or not we got past the soft lock. So I guess I'm thinking about how much time I want to commit into the run. 
But I, I guess wish me luck for now. Go ahead and pause the soundtrack. Hopefully everything sounds good on chat's end. Take a moment just to check audio. I think that's okay. So sadly, some of the effects of the PS3 won't be there, so it'll be a bit grainier compared to our other playthrough, which is unfortunate, but that's what happens when you move it off the PS3. I want you to know, Chad, it was very annoying to do this, but we have everything set up properly. I did not bother pointing over our other save file. I was like, it's either going to work or it's not going to work. There, there is no in-between. I don't care if I want my alternate saves at this point. Okay, so I need to reacquaint myself. What was I trying to learn? I retreat and spin. Welcome, Murphy. So unfortunately, where we were in the playthrough is not what we were doing last. So I need to think about this again. So with retreat and spin... Is this before or after I had Lo and Behold? Do have Lo and Behold. So then I'm only looking to unlock Triple Supremacy. So I'm missing two techniques, I think, total. So I don't have my Triple Supremacy or Blue Dragon. I don't think we unlock blue dragon before. I think we unlocked blue supremacy while we were playing last time. And then we were going to be done with the spear techniques. Hopefully everybody's doing well. I had to reacquaint myself what we were doing last with this character. I'm also deciding if it's worth spending any time forging weapons or if I should just go straight into things. Just making sure we did seeds. I guess if I don't plan on forging later, I guess to make my life a little easier. I could burn one of our random elementals to boost our damage. My brain had to think about which one was the blacksmith. I think it's on the left. Well, that was good. I had a one in three. <laughs> it was like, we very rarely go here. So sadly, we still don't have any good base materials in order to make anything of interest. Like, we have gold, and that's it. Like, we don't have any of the endgame materials still, which is kind of rough. I guess I'll just very briefly raise our stuff. <laughs> I see we have the super sword. Alright, what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna unequip our current weapon. Unfortunately, means re-equipping the other weapon, which is why I don't like doing that. Or I guess I could have technically equipped into a spear. To stop that from happening, but whatever. Ancient moon. take any damage up. I saw how long that boss fight took before. I would have preferred a slightly better material to start, but we'll take whatever damage we could get. We'll do... Uh, do any of these matter? I don't think they do. Too sharp, claw.
And then I'll do one more upgrade and we'll move on. Hopefully you're doing well on Parameter. Ooh, that was a pretty significant damage increase. I want to save that for our better items. Um, what happens if I forge meat into our weapon? What does that even do? Well, time to find out, I guess. I don't think the item can get quote-unquote worse, per se. Oh, it did, actually. That's unfortunate. There's a limitation to the forging I, I should know about. We know how to make some very basic broken things. What did we end up doing to this? Change the elemental essences a little bit. Which is fine. I think I would want them. So it looks like if we do a lot of sharp ball repeatedly, might be good for us later. I think it was Dragon Spite. Actually, do we have an extreme damage skill? I want that instead of Chrome Rye. Do lo and behold there. Yeah, I think maybe it, it decreased certain things. Just fine. I don't super super care as long as it's just a little better than what we had before. I think maybe changing the elemental type might be useful because I think we were in an area where it was just really heavily resisted before, so it made our damage like hilariously terrible. But so giving it more than one elemental type might be okay. So I believe we're going to just restate the story since it's been a while since we did it. So, I don't think we placed the other location correct. We did not. Okay. Let's go back to Gato Grotto's. We're gonna reinitiate the Heaven's Gate, the final story event where we got absolutely trolled and bodied. I haven't fully decided how much of each video will end up being in the final portion of YouTube, other than editing will be involved. But I'm going to have to edit. Because we did have a really clean run there. It's just the problem was more... You know, soft luck, GG. There's no save that entire dungeon, which really sucks. So it's not even like I could partially reuse the footage. With the dungeon, at least. Oh. It's actually a solid air. Okay. Yeah, yeah, the door is open. Heaven's Gate. The worm of life, Leucemia, descended to Earth and swallowed seven cities. It burned itself to death, swallowing a volcano. I hear its hard shell still exists, hundreds of years after its death. Erwin is going to revive the creature to bring chaos to the world once again. Then why didn't you stop him? I don't understand. Why must I stop him? I love him. Giving him freedom is my happiness. But don't you want to be at the side of the person you love? I was always with him. Only our bodies were far apart. You're making it sound like you're a hypocrite. You could both live on and be together in the land of fairies. That is for the sake of both you and the world. Diana, these will be my last words. Please listen. The Imperial soldiers simply fight by their Emperor's side. The pirates steal others' belongings because they desire them. Yeah, we barely interacted with the pirates. Oops. Who is more sinful? They're both stupid. Neither one is sinful. It was the goddess who gave us freedom. 
to deny the freedom of others is the true sin. Then I'll kill him. Is that what I'm supposed to do? If that is what you desire to do, then it is. What about you? What are you going to do about this? Once I am sure that you, Erwin, and Trey remain free, then the curtain will fall on my role in the world. Please don't say that, Matilda. You're only 26. There's so much left to do in life. Don't leave me. I still want to be your little sister, Matilda. You can do as you please, Diana. Do you need my help? We're going to say yes. Then I shall go with you. Otherwise, we'll get a fantastically bad ending for the story. Please, take this. We now have the artifact brooch of love again. May the goddess's blessing be with you. Well, fortunately we know this character, regardless of how that tempering just went, will hard carry us through the normal enemies. Because we were legitimately fighting those enemies, and because we had elemental boosts to the weapon that the enemy resisted without having a lot of power behind it. We were doing basically zero damage. So at some point, it would be nice if we got new materials from some of these locations. Like, just to showcase. Like, we can only buy iron weapons still this late in the game, which is pretty painful. Not much else we could do in the other location, sadly. By the time we place the final location, we should have a majority of our, uh... Chops fully upgraded. But this route makes it pretty strict slash unfortunate when it comes to normal crafting. Well, chat, time to time to wish me luck. I hope I do damage at Lucivia, unlike last time. I believe this, as I mentioned before, was the Cancun bird that we very briefly interacted with the nest of. That sound effect, though, is quite awful, I'm not gonna lie. In we go, though. down and then around. I do like the music here, I will state. It's just unfortunate, uh, <laughs> what happens at the end of the dungeon, potentially. Let's see how much damage we're doing. Oh yeah, we're doing more damage than before. It's not, like, fantastic, but I'll take it. Like, we're still getting way out damaged by the AI, but it is not as bad as it was before. It's a little risky to go for. Alright, chat. Help me keep track. We're gonna say that's one. We need to count to 12. To unlock another skill. There we go. There's a good rhythm. AI trolling me by knocking them out of range, of course. I think Kevin got stuck in the corner. That should be two. There was that really easy to farm area towards the end. I'm gonna hopefully not backtrack too much. 
They're the enemies we killed in like three hits. Although now that I changed weapon weakness, maybe that won't happen this time. we went right last last time what happens if we go left here oops yeah it's that enemy right there which we still seem to hurt pretty well so that's good not much has changed there, it seems. work on the uh, diagonal fidgets. There should be four. Supremacy is not listed correctly. I feel like we should have had it eons ago. Six. I don't care who it hits as long as it hits somebody here. This potentially saves a lot of time. The fact that it's one-shotting that now, I think, shows that our damage has definitely improved. Before that was not killing, as a reminder. Right, so we still do no damage to this creature. We need our comrades to help kill this a little faster. That's fine. How did? How is that? Chat, seriously. Bear witness to this. How is this not exiting the area? I have so many questions. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, Legend of Mana. Oh, poor Blue Donna. He's so confused. Okay, so he's asking if we could take it. We're gonna say, of course. So I think if you say I can't take it anymore, he teleports us away, which we do not want to do. I would like to not backtrack through that dungeon. No, we're either on five or six right now. I'm assuming we're on six. Jack could correct me if I'm wrong in terms of encounters. This will be seven. Right, so we do okay damage versus the snakes. Not like amazing, but definitely better than before. Seriously? There we go. I was mashing that R1 chat. No matter who this hits, this will kill somebody. Or not. Yeah, the reason the other ability is amazing is it just stuns them too. We technically have a defense down special if we really need it, but hopefully we won't need it. Say this is eight. We'll do one more just in case. Hit me out of my super again. Unfortunate timing of me pressing it, I guess.
Ooh, we do nice damage to the fish guy. Should be eight. We need 12 in retreat to unlock one of the other abilities. We're gonna do our best to hopefully get it unlocked here. As I said before, we only have two techniques left. We've learned everything else. This should be nine. Uh, wait, you, that could be blocked? Wait. I did not know you could ever block special techniques. I have never seen that before. Legitimately. That's unfortunate. Oh, I didn't mention this before. But, uh, technically the way our character has been leveling up, with skill being 33, means we're actually really good with the bow and knives, because I believe that's how the damage formula is calculated. And the magic stat is useful for the instruments, and strength is 22 for everything else. So if we really wanted to switch over to knives at some point, we would do probably really good damage, comparatively. Please don't block arbitrarily. There we go. Poke. I think that was nine. I'll do one extra in case we're unlocking stuff later. More never hurts. As long as we don't go beyond like 40, we should be fine. Does some need like between 20 and 24? Hmm. Two different routes here. He barely hurt this one still. This enemy type's actually pretty annoying because they do their pincer attack goes all the way through us. They're just called Sand Scorpion. Uh, of course she did another short range move again. I feel like the AI is actually trolling me. That's not the one I thought I would hit, but we'll take it. Worth it. Okay, we'll just say this is ten. My stun lock simple. Kind of means very annoying. move I thought I selected. It's unfortunate. That one's okay. But I want a AoE spear ability, not a single target. Is it not called that? I thought it was Dragon's Bite. Maybe it was Cyclone something or other? Maybe it was thinking of Cyclone Racer. There are times I want to AoE versus do single target. Let's find out if this is the one I'm looking for. Yes. 
I mean, that damage spoke for itself, chat. I don't know about you. Okay, so I think we left that way before. So what was that down the other way? So we'll do two more with this, and then we'll say that we have enough retreat. So we also needed to equip retreat in general, so we should be at like 18 plus retreats. But more importantly, we've added like 13 or 14 more spins, so I'm not too worried about that. Don't- please don't loot me when I'm trying to grab XP. Hold. What is- why does the AI do this to me? Do this. There we go, rapid cancels. Clean. So if I remember correctly... We needed 24 spin for lo and behold. So we should be good now with the spin for sure. Let's switch this off to evade. Since it doesn't seem to want to unlock the other move for some reason. And then we'll do two more with retreat on. And that should make us basically line up with defensive lunge pretty cleanly. And then after that, I just don't know why the other ability won't unlock. Since we have hilarious amounts of spin, Prout should be good, Lunch should have been good. A one. Another Gigas Glove. Could use that to eventually make the robot, I guess. So we needed, like, decent strength up on the robot to do damage. If chat wanted to see that later, we could do that. So, you know, Erwin is just toying with you. Can you take it? I'd say, of course. So we're almost done. I think we're a little past the halfway point. These rooms are fairly empty, at least. Switch this out for defensive lunge. Just kind of an awkward combination versus bosses. I don't like to play extremely defensive on bosses, other than maybe crouch for healing. So we are at. Technically, should only need six more battles to unlock it. If it doesn't unlock at that point, it's purely due to just not having enough battles won. Oh, did I go the wrong way or something? I have to go here. That's, anno that's annoying. He has to come back every time. That's kind of trolly. There's not even an item on the lower path. So it should, in theory, unlock here? Question mark. And six. And we'll go back to unlocking Triple Supremacy. And then it is over. Should be GG for both of them. Well, maybe not this whole night. Oh, really? Disappointing. Damage to the imps, which is good. I might have a weakness to the wisp element we have. Why we're doing so much damage comparatively. Yeah, at this point, I'm pretty sure we have well over 100 battles. If that doesn't unlock, then we can just focus on the other one. But we definitely have the minimum skills for all of these now. I 
that's two out of the way. So if we're with, if we've done a hundred already, it should unlock in four more. Let's see, scroll. I still don't understand why we put that in our pants. JRPG logic. We're like, hmm, sticky gooey. That's going in right with our endgame weapon for some reason. Ooh, that was a lot of damage. And we learned it. So we got it within six. So there's just one ability we haven't unlocked. Why is this thing so annoying to unlock? So we'll go back to lunge crouch. We got the final ability before we got that one. Long range direct major damage. Let's see if Blue Dragon's an AoE or not. That'll determine what it slot it ends up taking. Alright, so it does hit multiple. And I think it gives us stat ups? It said all up. That's useful. So a giant laser beam full screen is kind of nice. So at this point, it's just figuring out why triple supremacy will not unlock. Which again, makes me think maybe the uh, list online is not entirely accurate. Given that it allegedly lists 18 lunge, 16 crouch, 18 spin. And we already have more than that according to our unlocks. Yeah, this is the room I was using to unlock things quickly. We didn't even unlock Blue Dragon, I don't think, last time. These kills are so fast. We'll do a couple of these to match what we did last time. Just because this, this room is so fast to reset with how quick we kill them. So we'll do two more, or three more of these. And after that, I could play with whatever skill I want, technically. Unless I just want to play with a new weapon. Which I might do, just to mix it up a little bit. Technically, I could use the super weapon we got earlier, which would make my life easier. I would have preferred to use more daggers or fist. We'll see. Well, that sucks. I like that it just doesn't do anything for a while, and then just boom, AoE death. and me do two more. And just to verify, I did not unlock this skill and forgot, right? We have Lancer, Mighty Javelin, Twister, Dragon Spite, Furious Copter, Nebulous Saucer, then it should be Lancinator, Cyclone Racer, Rewind, which we definitely got, Fool's Play, Holy Light, which we did get, no Triple Supremacy. We have Deadly Branding, Chrome Ray, Raging Fury, lo and behold, and Blue Dragon. So for some reason, that one technique just does not want to unlock. So lots of question marks. But I did not cancel properly there. Level up right before the boss battle, not bad. One more. So now there's like no reason for this because Raging Fury requires 22 lunge. And Crouch 
I don't know how many we're supposed to have had, but we definitely have more than the number needed. Because we had to unlock high jump at one point. I'm assuming we just need more crouch. Do demon meat. Eh, whatever. So I guess we're ready to go fight the boss. I wish we had better alternatives. Like, I think Throat Slitter is okay for damage. We want to use this later. We have horrible bows. Great Blade is pretty good, but I don't think anything really beats the giant sword we acquired recently, which gives us one in all of the important categories. I do like Giga's Glove, though. Depending on what we do with it. Because we had one that we pumped up, I think, a bit more. Yeah, Skull de Sack. So we'll see. Well, moment of truth. Can we rebeat the boss? Leaving sorrow behind. I am here to eradicate from this world the ugly seeds called humans. It is your fate to perish. You who have stolen so much from the land. Enough talk. Let's finish this. Well, let's hopefully not die. That would be very sad. Force off luck. <laughs> so he is basically infinite immune from what I remember. I could try to infinite him, but it's not going to work. So they thought about it a little bit. Cool. He's in the corner. That doesn't work. Oh, he did back-to-back -back specials on me? That's rude. At least I should still get stat-ups. Oh, I only get stat-ups if I hit. That sucks. Huh. That's not a safe spot when he does it from the corner. That's not good. I'll regen some HP then. Thank you, Crouch. Now this is the new safe spot. I guess because he's in the corner, it doesn't work anymore. There we go. Oh yeah, the cheese. I was going good for him. Oh, he did big damage. Damn. Immune at the worst time. I don't know where the safe spot is based off of where he stands. That does vary quite a bit. I shouldn't die on the next hit though, at least. Okay, moment of truth. Will the game glitch? Oh yeah, I forgot about slide. I forgot there's like hidden techniques in this game. This is promising. There we go. No soft lock. Ooh, look at that chat. Master to special techniques. Triple supremacy. There we go. Done with the spear. Done with him. Done with the story arc. GG. We are past the soft lock chat officially. Take that floating worm thing that ate a volcano and died.
Believe it or not, Chan, we're actually at the very end of the game. That is the last triggering event I believe we need to see. It goes straight to the final dungeon. We're gonna keep going beyond that. But just be aware, we could go beat the game, like, right now, right after this, in theory. Without having touched any of the other relics. Cancun Bird's Nest. Madam. What is the matter? No, she didn't? Abbess Matilda passed away just a moment ago. Matilda, no! Is the body in the dream leaving room? It has disappeared. Disappeared? But why? What shall we do? Shall we search for it? No, that is not necessary. How should we announce this matter to the world? Why is this an auto advanced dialogue? I'm sorry, I need to think about this. Rip Matilda. But Lord Irwin's presence has vanished. Did he die? He was supposed to be the one who would annihilate the humans. Do you think so? Maybe we are the ones going extinct. Us? That is right. The memories of war made us forget who we really are. You traitor, take that back! Hmm. Hey, Mr. Big Shot! There's spirits wandering around without permission. Tell me what to do. Let them wander. I'm not causing any trouble. Ah, uh, you don't care about a thing, do you? Sir Oban. Hey, who the heck are you? Have you received the baptism of flame? Welcome, Matilda. Have you decided to go with Selva's idea? It will be my pleasure, sir. Don't you, don't ignore me! Well, Matilda, you don't need to look so ancient anymore. Or one will be hurt to see you that way, since he's always regretted what he did in the past. I suppose I will change my appearance. Did Erwin come here too? He's down on the lower levels. Should I take you there? No, I can do that. Erwin. Damn, everybody can teleport but us, chat. We need to step it up as characters. I wish I could wom through some of the dungeons. Hey, newly dead, this is the underworld. There are rules you have to follow here. <laughs> Erwin. Go away, Shadols. Go away. Did you say that? Jeez, girl. Who are you to tell us where to go? I am the universe. Away from me, Shadols. I am the universe, chat. There you go. What happened? That was an easy spell of truth. How does it feel to be dead, Erwin? I'm more surprised about your powers, not my death. Well, actually, it is the power of the universe, not my own. Souls can create anything we desire in a flash. It's like a god. You could do it too. All you need to do is wish for it. That's quite the claim care to back it up. A demon, all I desire is to destroy. But that is not correct. You created me. People around me molded me into a person I, who I wasn't. But by meeting you, I was able to begin creating the person I really should be. Matilda, your presence was always a thorn in my heart. If I could, I wish to be born as a demon again, and bring chaos to this world. I need to free myself from a spell named Matilda. Your soul can make anything you, you wish come true. I'm here because not only I wished for it, but so did you. And this unfair world you wish to destroy is about to end. Everything is created through us. Matilda, I will not embrace you for your frail body would break if I did. Do not worry, we're no longer encaged in our earthly bodies. Womp. Damn chat, everybody be teleporting.
She didn't really prove her claim, though, Dango, sadly. <laughs> there we go. We just... <laughs> basically, everybody but the character we partied with is dead. The end. Heaven's Gate has been completed. <laughs> literally, chat. They are literally all dead. We killed them all. GG. So technically, we never went to one, two, three, four, five other locations. That's hilarious. <laughs> right, chat? I always thought Geo was required, but apparently not. Oops. We still haven't placed all the cities, by the way, chat. We, we haven't placed two of the cities, which is kind of painful. We managed to beat the game without ever doing anything there. Well, hope to see you again. Why is he body blocking me? Better than me. How long, says the cactus. I guess we could keep going for a little bit. I I'm just happy we managed to beat that dungeon finally. That's what I was concerned about. So let's see how many events we actually cleared. So we cleared 37. We did a couple of important ones, and we completed one of the main storyline ones. I didn't realize you could trigger the end of the game without having completed the other storylines. There's a couple of stories we didn't even follow up on at all so far. If you remember a while back, there was Gilbert, the, the centaur bard character. We never saw him again. We never did anything with the pirates again. We never solved the mystery between Elazel and Pearl. We never encountered the Jewel Hunter again. Like the pacing of the game, do a little venture to go home and take a nap. Something like that. So, allegedly, I just need to walk around and come back and maybe everything will be ready. Yeah, we're officially done. So did Chad want me to use another weapon type or stick to the spear? I'm just curious. We have things we can learn with the other weapons. But I'll take whatever chat would like to see the most. I would like to forge a new weapon at some point, but whatever type it is is hard, not super relevant. There we go. Is he okay? Is he dying? Don't worry, he was only chosen. Now he's going to the spiritual world to become part of a big tree. A big tree? Yup. We plants are all connected to our- at our roots. We might look like separate beings, but we're one plant in our real dimension. You're one plant? We belong to one tree. What about me? You too. I didn't know that. If the plants join the big tree in the spiritual dimension, that big tree will revive in this world, too. Oh! No problem. He was chosen because your imagination filled him with love. There are lots of sproutlings, but we are one. He is me. If he's gonna become a big tree, I will become one tree, too. Love is what we plants need the most. Thank you for your love. Not ominous at all. It's fine, chat. Just become one of the collective. It's never gone wrong in other stories when you become one of a giant collective. Nice, we don't have any updates there. Age of Dreams. I believe we have to follow this. I cannot do that. We have no use for the Mana Tree. I don't think we even met that character on the left before. Bring back the Sproutling you hid. He was supposed to rise to the spiritual world to become the Mana Tree. 
Oh, please help me. Anne trapped, by, trapped his Froutling in a dream with dimensional magic. Now this Froutling won't be able to become the mana tree. Froutlings should remain as they are, and they shouldn't become the mana tree. I've lived long enough to see many catastrophic events occur over the tree's power. Has mankind ever used the tree's power for a noble cause? Not once. We must eliminate the source of quarrels. Peace is what is needed. I'm gonna have a chat with Nunuzak now. Would you like to join us? Yes. Back inside we go. Hello, Nunuzak. Been a long time, hasn't it? Sir Pokio. The time has come for the Sproutling. Let him go. Do the wisdoms prefer war over peace, Sir Pokio? Must be aware that blood will be shed over a revived mana tree. We have proven that we can live without the tree's powers. Even if it is the wisdom's choice, I will not obey. The mana tree may not be a necessity, but it brings blessings to our lives. Likewise, love may not be a necessity, but even you know its blessings. Do you see what I'm saying, Nunazak? But some will harm and take possessions of others to feel that bliss. I believe tranquility of one's soul is not to desire anything. We will be better off without the mana tree in our lives. Nunuzak, the world you see is only part of a vast universe. The mana tree is the source of unlimited power, but... What it really does is remind us that power is found within. It's not the materialistic wealth missing from our lives. It's love. Love? Love is power. Give it to another and you will bring bliss. Criminals, friends, strangers, and even yourself. All is reborn when you forgive love and understand. Wizards sure do seem to be masters of trickery with words. Nunuzak, you believe that fools outnumber the wise. You seem to think that you are fighting the fools in a war. You are fighting against the pessimistic world that only exists in your head. None of the creatures the goddess created are truly fools. All you need to do is believe it. Reality is not the dream that you are preaching. Villains like the Deathbringer will surely come for the mana tree. And I will have to teach my pupils about true conjuration. The world would return to the Age of Darkness. What you describe is a thing of the past. Do not waste your life away doubting all you've seen, Nunuzak. How can you think the goddess created this world only for suffering? Our very existence, not our behavior, is foolish. If that is what you believe, then that is how it shall be. Sir Pokio, I am but an old timer. Please let me lead me through this world with your supreme power and wisdom. I trust you to do whatever you believe in. Even if you decide to destroy this world, I shall pray for you. Sir Pokio. I don't think we ever met Nudisek in another quest. We kind of skipped those. Though, oops on that one. Suppose we could have lived without the mana tree. I feel bad for the Sproutling trapped in the dream cage. I would rescue him if only I had the power. For what do the world and our lives exist? Thorn of Hope. Well, I guess we might as well see what the other skill is at some point. It's only a mid-range major damage? All that, it's not even that impressive. That definitely feels bugged. The fact that we got that, got that after Blue Dragon is insane to me. Just wanted to confirm my ability. And it's only a single target? Oof. Yeah, we're not using that again. Well, I mean, I guess it's okay. I need more of a lunge attack. But our other ability is much stronger, for sure. I'm gonna go back to Cycl Cyclone Racer. Disappointing. So we only have, like, one AoE ability that does medium damage. That's kind of unfortunate. 
I would have liked one major damage, medium range. Knowledge of its pitfall. Wow, I two shot them. Biggest flail. Hmm. Is that any good? It's okay. It gives four to strength, though, which is hilarious. Hmm. For the sake of learning things as we play, maybe I do equip one of these. I could avoid the two-handed sword to make it a little more fair. Let's start using knives. I feel like those are unloved. Is there anything we need a super high number of, of knives? I need to get to... Four and taunt at some point, I guess. We could do that. Also cheer. We need more cheer. I think otherwise we have everything. Some of these are like backflip seven. Let's see how much damage we do with melee, comparatively. With knives, which are very skill book based. Desire to awaken. So I don't have like an uppercut, which is kind of a problem with knives. Thing. The silver hit combo. Yeah, I don't think I'm a big fan of knives, honestly. I think it's just not having loopable uppercuts are very strong. I think I'm gonna say no to knives then. Uh, I'll try fist for a little bit. Need to have 30 and grapple at some point. Might as well start learning these at some point. I need to get counter attack 10 as well. Yeah, if we're, if we're gonna go for something else, I'd rather it just be like... Because at least I know I have an uppercut with this. Even if it's very vertical. Do we trade range for, like, very silly combos? Instantly learn Bloody Knuckles. Nice. Not mean to do that. We need a million grapples, so we might as well as learn it. Yeah, we're gonna have a medium range attack with fists, which is kind of funny, given it's a very short range weapon. Downside of Fist. We don't have a lot of range for combos. We found the Sproutling. Ow. Ugh. Huh? Where am I? I think we heal the Monotree. It's our job to focus the light of love on the Monotree's wounds. Trey, take this sword. Close your eyes and imagine. Got the artifact Sword of Mana. Huh? Cage of Dreams, the end. Oh, we didn't see that, uh... Ant Eater thing? Question mark? It's got a weird tail. I'm just gonna make sure we hand in the quest, then I'm gonna go place this. You know what's also sad? I can't show off a little mini game because we've yet to complete a 3x3. Three three. <laughs> because we have gaps in between them. It's so brutal. So there's a there's a hidden mini game you could do in the overworld if you ever have a 3x3. Three three. It's basically like whack-a-mole. So even by placing this next one, we will still not unlock the thing that I'm talking about. <laughs> there we go. We could technically place this last artifact, go to it, and beat the game. So we completed maybe like 60% of the events.
So now by placing this sort of mana thing here, we're gonna unlock a very annoying event to get. Eventually. There's two events that are uh, require us to have, I believe, a certain affinity with the base town. So shout out to the people that actually found those. But there's a reason we've been avoiding Domina this whole time, because I was looking to not trigger a specific event. Now we can go here and be fine. Let's go ahead and place the Sword of Mana now. According to this, it should be directly above the town. So this is going to improve the affinity of the town. And notice that when we place it, it maxes the affinity with basically everything nearby. That means we can buff up Lumina with just one placement. That's interesting. I like that this one gets a special animation for placing it. Oh, there's the end of the game. Yep. <laughs> and now we've maxed out the affinity completely for two different places. So that will help us with story unlocks. Now that we have maximum in shade, I believe is needed for the first quest to appear. We'll get a special quest here by returning to this area. And it'll make sense why it's shade at a moment. Take three leaves. When they sprout, I'll be back. <laughs> uh oh, chat. There's another tray, only evil. Seeing double. Don't pick the leaves. Let's go follow our other self. Oh yeah, we never went to the church. So normally when you're playing on the PS1, the St. Mana Church has a purpose. We'll go here even though we're never required to go here to beat the game. Well, that is a creepy face, chat. I forgot about that horror mouth thing that it has. The goddess said, hmm, and the mana energy is... Oh, so that is the answer. I see, I see. Oh. Please excuse my ignorance. I'm Revan Nouvel. Helping those in need brings my own salvation. What would you like to know? So if we ask about, I think, battles. If we ask about using two-player, we get told, quote, you can use the abandoned house in the town center to take your friend along your adventures. So if you don't talk to this person, you can't play two-player with the custom save file. So for example, I could in theory duplicate our save in a memory card too and play with a copy of ourselves if I really wanted to. So I could be my ultimate tag team partner. I don't feel like going through his help stuff. Most of it's not all that important. If I want to learn more lore about the game, I can ask about each of the others. You see, if you really want to learn about Mark and Jen Jennifer, get things like they own an item shop and take turns shopkeeping every day. Mark stays inside on holidays, but Jennifer goes out and chats all day. He's kind of like the Lord Dump. If you just want to talk to him, he, don't, he has something to say about everybody. But it's not required to advance the story. Bye, church. I don't ever intend to revisit. I just wanted to mention you because I realized I never went there in the playthrough so far. Okay, thanks for the two lower rib leaves. I'll return when new ones grow back. <laughs> We never talk to the fortune teller down here either. When your fortune told, yes. And Lucre. Save it for my retirement, so no less. We'll say yes. Spin the fruit. There we go. Vitamins, keratins, potassium fiber. I'll leave half it all. Let's see what our fortune is today. Our fortune is. Hmm, it says. 
love is meant to be. Are you in love or something? I sure ain't. Don't pluck my leaves! The way that Sproutling goes. It's kind of like vague hints as to where you are in the main story. Oh, oops, I think I forgot to talk to somebody. No, you're hoarding pumpkins. Hand them over. Well, what happened to you? It's not like you at all. Shut up. I'm going to use Pumpkin Man to take over the world. Why are you saying such things? What's going on? Hand them over, or else. Else what? Speak up, man. You can't threaten me. I ain't afraid of you. On your back. On me back? Is what? On your back. I'll make an end hill. Eh, 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 an ant hill? It'll get so itchy with an ant hill on your back. No! I don't want an ant hill on me back. No! Goodbye, pumpkins. Give you the pumpkin, so please leave me be. <laughs> Fly me to ant hills. Ah! So we see the doppelganger thing. It's impersonating other people. I like how we just let him go. Didn't even try to stop him there. And ill. Ugh. I can't. Can't cop the bleeding image out of me head. Yeah, yeah, whatever, Tifo. Ah. Green Sap is coming out of this one. Not good. I guess we'll go beat up the other thing with our current equipment. This should be fine. We're gonna go beat up Evil Trey. You are picking on Sproutlings, bad hero, bad hero. Oh, let's go rectify that. Boss time. Come at the perfect time. I'll defeat you, and I shall become you. Because you're such a... Because I hate you. Can't say it, but I'm your dark side. Yeah, that's it, your dark side. Of course, I don't understand why I'm just somebody else's dark side. It's like I can't help feeling sorrow, but I've lost confidence in myself the last couple of days. There we go. Shadow Zero. At any rate, you're going down. Bring it on. Shadow Zero One, excuse me. I gotta get used to the fist timings. Man, you can really rapid jab that. So the power attacks here are much faster than spear. How did he miss? Game, please. Yeah, it's weird that this seems to miss a point blank. Which is kind of ironic, I guess. Ooh. Man, we could chain that really quickly. Okay, so damage per second. The fist is crazy. Oh, this is gonna miss for sure. There's no way. Oh, never mind. He walked into it. What an idiot. And that gives you power up. Interesting. Hmm. Not bad. Lightning kick acquired. A bit risky, but it's nice that I have something that's fast for DPS. Huh. Why does he walk like that? His feet are like so high in the air. Looks like the shadow things impersonated people and pulled a lot of pranks. They boiled the Sproutling's leaves and grew evil pumpkin patches. wonder what it was thinking. Pumpkins? Impersonating blokes? Pumpkin patches? Huh? Tipo, do you have any idea what went on? I, uh... Uh-huh. So it wasn't to all. It was a bleeding phony. Fly me. Thank heavens it wasn't him. Wow, that is such a thick accent. C and double, the end. That's nice and easy. And now, because we... Now, because we technically gave it, I think, Dryad plus... One other one? It might be Lumina? We should unlock one more quest in the same area.
I'm going to really hope we've been picking up enough random items because we need a whole assortment of random items. I'm going to be so sad if we somehow don't have a chat. I've been very careful to not use every item that we have and leave one ofs of everything. So I'm hoping by all the kills and all the random treasures I've taken, we will not miss out on this item. So these events are going to go very quickly, as I mentioned before. Uh, just because we, we got through the very long dungeon ones. I think there's still two that involve longer dungeons. But going through Lumina and dealing with all that was definitely one of the longer quests. So we're going to get another one done potentially in like 10 minutes. Compared to like 45, 50 minutes for some of the other ones. Like when we're trying to fight dragons or whatever. Although we never finished the dragon quest either, I realized. Wow, we really just never finished the main arcs. That's kind of funny. <laughs> this event order is so weird. I might as well just go harvest these. So essentially I need flat seed, topple cotton, animal hide, baobab wood, menos bronze, citrus squid, rotten meat, sulfur. So hopefully this is everything we need. As long as I don't use up all my flat seeds, we should be good. On the plus side, we got like a million plants. Hopefully this is going to result in us getting more overall seeds. But we'll see. Though the pods are nice for crafting, if I remember correctly. Keep those. But basically, I think the same stat ups that the produce gives your pets, you could add to your weapons. Got a round seed, small seed, crooked seed, oblong seed. That's good. Good variety. Let's do. Two small seeds. Then we'll do... Hmm... Two round seeds. One thing we're also going to do is double check the store, since we did just put the Sword of Mana there in the middle. It should have improved Domino's stores significantly. But let's see. are still menos. We could buy instruments here, which are okay. I think there should be an item merchant, though, somewhere. Which is the one I'm looking for. Pickle girls room, don't you think? Don't laugh, my dad picked it all out. Ah, I do love the mountains. Let's go leave the shop to Tipo and go up to the mountains. And you didn't know daddy was good at tree climbing. Oh, sugar cakes? Daddy, why don't you take mommy? Watch the shop for you. Ha. <laughs> okay, sweetie baby. Don't have to worry about the shop. <laughs> Weird scene. Hmm. Where was the material gatherer? It's not this thing. I've been in the main market area. Oh well, we'll worry about that later. Guys, May made a spinner fruit and find out what Pee Wee needs. She said Menos Bronze, Velvug Wood, Animal Hide, Double Cotton, Flat Seed, Citrus Good, Rotten Meat, and Sulfur. Please help me find them. Pee Wee Birdie. Uh 
Uh-oh. Do I not have all of these? Oh no, Chad, what am I missing? Oh no, what am I missing? Get Metas Bronze. I want to do them in order so I can keep track of them better. We should have flat seed. I didn't use all of those. We have one flat seed. Apple cotton. If we have that. Hopefully I didn't use it by accident. As I said before, I was I thought I was doing a pretty good job of not using them. But I don't see it in here. Yeah. Missing topple cotton. The citrus squid. Bronze. Do I have boab wood? I might not have that either. I feel like we never really got a lot of wood items. Hmm. So I'm missing those two. Rotten meat and sulfur I should definitely have, because we killed like a million enemies. Yeah, rotten meat we have. Sulfur we have. One moment, chat, as I go to find these. So Boab Wood is not here, but I should be able to get Topple Cotton here. Boab Wood should be in Lumina. Right, so let's go deal with those. I mean, I had a feeling I might need to purchase something on the off chance I was missing something. I just don't remember where the other merchant was. I'm trying to remember. I don't think we spoke to them before in the playthrough. Lumina's, I'm pretty sure I know where they are. Lumina's easy. This area, not as sure. Are they in the market area? So we need to find them to advance the quest. Oh, you know what? I think they're in the inn or something dumb. I remember for a long time not finding them, so I think they're on the second floor somewhere. Yeah, here we go. So I could get oak wood. I want the topple cotton. We have different stones here if I want to make a super item later. Because we do need firestone potentially for a super strong weapon. So I'll think about it, Chad. If I permit myself to break the damage of this game, I'll think about it. I'll at least use the weapons we've acquired. I feel like that's a fair balance. Okay, so we gotta go to Lumina now. Hopefully this will not trigger any other quests. sad if this triggers something. Around here somewhere. I don't even think we went this way before, by the way. <laughs> but I just might as well go grab these. Yeah, there's an area over here. It's this... Goblin. You're a very evil and menacing goblin. Take me with you. I want to polish up on my evilness. I 
I think I have to accept. Oh, you have a pet with you? Aww. I, mean, I want to make him polish his evilness. There we go. This area is obscure. I don't feel like most players know where this was. Though we can get a Laurent silver item now if I want to. Is it worth it? You could buy the sulfur if I didn't have it before. Buy one extra. Yeah, that this door is very easy to miss. I'm tempted to bring Hobgoblin Buddy, but that would mean getting rid of Kevin. Kevin is just so unbelievably unkillable right now. He still doesn't have any elemental resistances, which is funny. He's just, just so tanky due to HP ups. I don't think it matters. He has more health than we're gonna have by the end of the game already. Even if I level like 10 times, I'm not gonna equal how much health he has. Chocobo actually unstoppable. Okay, so with that, we should have everything we need. And I could technically get an upgrade now with our money if I wanted to. So technically, I could have had a slightly stronger spear before this point. Technically. Although, actually, I'm not sure because we had to place the tree of mana down. I'm actually not sure if that's true. Hmm. Well, let's not think about it. Actually, no, 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 let's not harvest any items. Let's just go complete the quest. We should get an item out of this. I think it's called the Revive Ring. I don't think I super care about it, so we're probably not going to equip it. Okay. We'll probably do one more major quest. I'm going to keep it simple since I'm going to combine, I think, videos. So there'll be like one less week of Legend of Mana, but blame editing for that. I at least want to get to the quest where I might have to reset if I mess things up. Oh. She's just naming all the items. I'm looking to name all the items. Let me have them. Yes. Oh, thank you. You can have them, Pee-wee. Pee-wee bird, the end. Also, hilariously, I think if you talk to the egg enough times, you just cause it to crack and you fail the event. So we avoided a, fail a failable event by not talking to it in that event. There's only like three or four in the game. You could just straight up fail. It is very trolly. But now if we go back, I should get an item. Got the revive ring. A little peewee, so sweet. It's like an axe beak or something. Or needle nose, I think. Let's see, revive ring. I mean, it gives us some resistances, but I'm not really going to give that up over Forbidden Ring. I think it just makes you revive faster, maybe? Question mark? It's not really worth it. So this is more just kind of like a joke event. I guess, quote unquote. I'll double check what it specifically does. So because it has the Mystic Heart effect on it, it allows you to be revived once automatically. I don't think we need that, I'll be honest with you, Chad. We got through the hard bosses of the game, I think we're fine. The only other time I might need it might be the final boss if I'm really under-equipped. Little Pee-wee says Little Cactus. 
yeah, not not a big deal either way. So we're gonna place two different buildings here, and this is where I have to be very careful. This event coming up is another failable, and it's failable in a very annoying way. So we're gonna be going to the beach soon, and I have to stomp 20 crabs. If I don't stomp 20 crabs, I will not be able to do all the events of the game, and I have to restart the event. I have failed it before. I've gotten 19 before out of 20, which is painful. There's a couple of extra crabs in the quest itself. But there's several that go off screen and never come back. So it's not unlikely that I have to repeat this. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to place everything that I need now. So let's place these things in order. So I need to place... Let's see golden seed. I need to place the other town we haven't seen or been to. Let's see. Number 20 should go... The Rusted Anchor is the last town. Or second to last town, I mean. I believe it goes next to Domina? Looking at that correctly? No, that's not correct. Wait, what? Did I place this in the wrong order? I'm gonna be so sad if I did. Something doesn't look quite right. This should be 1, 2, 19, 17. Oh no, this is fine. Oh, we're good, we're good. I got concerned for a moment, but I, I see what they want me to do. We're gonna place this here. This will create a place called Pulpata Harbor. And then that orchard we got from earlier, I should place at some point. We're going to be filling in those areas. I believe it's down here in the corner. Right under Lumina. Indeed it is. Number 21, the Golden Orchard. Which helps if you're trying to raise a lot of pets. Now I believe we can place number 22, which, as I said before, we have basically all the remaining artifacts, we just haven't placed them. So we're gonna go ahead and put the beach for the first time. This is gonna increase the difficulty of this area quite a bit. This is normally one of the first artifacts you place down if you're playing in story order, quote-unquote. I believe number 22 should go next to the building we just placed. That is correct. We're definitely gonna save, so I don't need to do this again. So we have greatly bumped up the difficulty of this location by placing this almost dead last in the order. Honestly, I think we're only missing one location. Because we have the staff already. Or we have the cane. I think we're missing just the staff and the hook. Unless I missed one in our list earlier. And those are all the places left in the game. But we still have to visit them, of course. Let's save so we don't need to do that again. Make sure I talk to him. Paranoia sinks in as we're like 13 hours in the playthrough. But we're on track. We haven't missed an event yet. We haven't done anything out of order. The placement looks good. However, we're coming up to a failable. Welcome, Chris. Hope you're doing well. The hard cactus, indeed. So yeah, we we got this. I think, I think literally like twelve artifacts ago, chat. Yeah, we got touch the tomb of magic. Yeah, so we're only missing two artifacts in the entire game. We've placed all the remaining ones. I guess I could go to the orchard just to show it off. I don't think there's a quest related to going here. 
And if there is, I'll just reset. Hopefully you've been getting more rest. Needs more rest. Mm-hmm. So yeah, let's see how we do here. So it's just another orchard. The trees duplicate in chat. Hello, hello. Could this be the first time we met? Yes, yes it is. I was but a seed all this time. But I do know the tr that Trent regained the monoflow because of you. Yes, yes, I know this. Because all of us plants have the deepest connection with each other. Yes, yes, it is also because of you. That's an iron on speaking terms, sorry to hear that. Because of you, I exist here now. Thanks to you, the Mount of Blessed One. Welcome, Remote Battery. Great Deku Tree, not quite. Um, I guess I'll double Big Seed. The music in the game is very good. I'm just happy we don't have to hear Irwin's theme loop forever due to the soft lock. Well, Chris, I have good news for you, by the way. I'm not sure if you've been keeping up on PSO notes. Do I see? You know what? I'm gonna save us planting the seeds. <laughs> I don't feel like we're doing this. To be honest with you. I think hashtag buff teching has finally paid off. I was thinking about if I wanted to test it later today or not. I still don't like it, but it is better. I still think there's no point to identifying with, like, half of the IDs, but at least some are worth identifying with. Yeah. The problem is, like, look at how good, like, Skyly is and Red ID is compared to everything else. I, I don't mind them having a difference, but, like, the difference between, like, 15 and, like, 38% is kind of insane. And there's almost no reason to use anything other than those three IDs. Like, yellow, yellow, red, sky. So if I'm gonna identify, I'm not gonna bother with any other ID. Because the other ones don't even go above 30% for the most part. Like, they stop at 28%, which is still worse than the 30% of red ID and stuff. So they kept it unbalanced, unfortunately. I was hoping they would kind of normalize the rates a little more. They brought up the base, which is a good start, but... I'm not super thrilled with it. It's it's workable. I'm happy for some of those IDs, but some of them are still gonna feel like trash. Like, let's be honest, 15% still really sucks. So my initial complaint has still not really gone away for some of those IDs. For some it has. Valerie, my love, I can't leave the captain and me shipmates. Must you return to the ship, my darling David? There ain't no such thing as freedom for us henchmen, love. I know. I should never have fallen in love with a pirate. Oh, look, David. Cute little crabs are running around here. Yeah, we need to stop. I'm not even kidding. We need to keep track of these, Chad. I need to get to 20 stomps. These crabs must die. Or I gotta redo this event. So they're crabs. Gee, they don't look as crabby today. David, I have. Huh? What's up? She dot dot dots. Never mind. You should get going. I'll hatch it myself. Hatch? Valerie, did you lay an egg? Away they go. Some are loving. Well, like, some are stomping. Okay, we gotta be fast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we're at seven. I'm not kidding. I, I need to make sure I stomp 20. I think we got all of them there. That's a good start. What is their level? Oh my gosh. They are not supposed to be this tanky normally. Holy. Look how much damage they're doing to me. Actually insane. Oh, I forgot to assign a lightning kick. That's unfortunate.
On the plus side, our uppercut seems to have good priority. Yeah, we pumped the difficulty of this place by placing other artifacts first, so this is going to be a little rough. Yeah, we haven't even killed anything yet, jeez. Might be the first time where I'm like, give me the candy. Did the pet really eat the candy? It's unfortunate. Alright, let's assign a new skill. Die, other chocobo. There could be only one. Oh, nice AoE. And it stuns. I could not ask for more, chat. That is a perfect ability for the fist. Wow, fist users got it easy. Can you imagine, chat, starting the game with that? That's actually unfair. Whirlwind kick unlocked. We're going to be unlocking these rapidly because of how many times we've used other abilities as a reminder. So let's see. We need to have Crouch 5 for the next one. It's all nearby foes, minor damage. Why would I want that when I already have Lightning Kick? Lightning Kick is so powerful already. I don't think I'm going the right way, I'm just looking for crabs. I guess we'll showcase it. We should unlock another ability basically instantly. Yeah, I'm not impressed. Man, that damage is so fast. Be a new ability here. Dollbreaker unlocked. Well, hopefully it's better than the other skill, because that skill was terrible. Short range of medium damage. It feels like a downgrade to me. how happy Sea Jack is. Time to murder him. Okay, I can hit more than one target. That's okay. It's not as good as Lightning Kick. But I would have been fine with that. Fish scales, whatever. I boink. I got trolled. <laughs> now that that's that's some good trolling. <laughs> it's like you're not allowed in this quest. Go back. What even were my options? Grapple, counterattack. Like how we can't do any attacks. There we go. But I can still use that to dodge damage, so that's fine. Lightning kick time. That's such a good ability. The fact that it stuns too is so disgusting. Let's level up. <laughs> We're gonna need that, right, chat? Acquired. We need to get 30 uses to grapple, which is pretty far away. Setting cancel down. Ooh, the rhythm's a bit different for the power attack cancels. Gotta do it slower. There we go. Flaming Quill, sure. Let's see what was in the other direction. Probably just a monster hunt. But for sake of curiosity, I want to see what it is. So yeah, we, we lose a lot of the range of spear, which makes it a bit awkward in some fights. But you can see the rapid damage of the cancels here is kind of insane. Even with comparable damage, the fact that that's just so much faster without moving you forward too. Kind of important for boss unlocks. 
we even have an uppercut, which knives didn't really have. I am taking a risk by going this way, because I still have to get 20 crab stomps, I mean. I think I, I think you can stomp like 25 or something or more. Because some of them are actually pretty hard to get. They go off screen almost immediately. And if you don't know they're there, then it's GG. Hmm. Looks like we haven't unlocked anything in a while. Our next one's at 12. We need one in somersault and one in backflip. Yeah, that should just be automatic, honestly. Then when we do this, we know we've gotten 12 uses of grapple at least. I tried so hard to cancel it, and I'm getting punished so hard. Holy. They, they reversed my controls, too. Made that extra annoying to get out of. What a jokester. Okay. Well, wish me luck, Chad. I gotta stomp those crabs. Kill both, hopefully. Or I missed one. Cool. Rolling slam, flip thrust, moon soul. Just learning a couple of techniques a little faster than normal. What do you think, chat? Do we need 10 in spin and 4 in grapple? So we should get the other one soonish. I mean, Bloody Knuckles is really good just for powering us up, to be honest. I'm gonna be honest with you, there's almost no way the things we picked up are better than what we already have. We'll put them on for now. So we'll try these. But I guarantee you, the two two of the skills I'm just going to immediately go back to. The fact that you can get it within five battles is very silly. Because getting power up is pretty important. It's just a free damage buff in case you're fighting bosses. It's not really hard to do. Let's try Jawbreaker. Yeah, I'm not impressed. Just level up for the pet. out of the corner. I'm holding left, but the character refuses to face that way. There we go, good finisher. Insult stomp. Oh, come on, another short range. Instead of medium range, or am I hallucinating? No, it's short range. Alright, we'll give it a jawbreaker. Keep our bloody knuckles. We're at seven crabs. I could save in between, in theory. Crabs don't count, sadly. I wish they did. So it doesn't seem like we could stun lock with normal jabs. It's unfortunate. Unless they do a two hit combo reset. Crab has fish meat, that checks out. Terrible. Let's get rid of that immediately. <laughs> right, chat? No special effects, no stun, no power-ups. F tier. Get that out of here. 
go. Lightning kick for sure here. Now we just need Moonsault Stomp, and we'll get rid of that afterwards. I just want to see the move so I can get rid of it. I feel like I'm being trolled. Yeah, this cave should be like six of them. Oh, I think I missed. Oh, I got, I got them all. Whew. Chat, whew. <laughs> I don't know how many that was. That was at least six. That was tight. They tried getting behind me, but I remembered that nonsense from last time. Wow, he stunlocked. He stunlocked me. He's better than me, chat. Oh, this isn't gonna work. Maybe? No? Faded. I just want to see this technique go off, but it's so hard to make it land. It's already a fist range weapon. I think this is where you can get eggs and stuff. If I come back, it might give us something. That once or twice. Oh, and technically, Chat can decide if we want to go back for the Hobgoblin, which I should have picked up earlier. Although, funny enough, I don't think I can collect him still, even if I have a spare pet slot. Because I have another quest I need to do later. He wanted to sharpen his evilness, quote him earlier. I think I ended up using him for a majority of the game over the rabbi. Please land. Good. Now you can never have to use this ever again. The ability is so terrible. Alright, chat. No thanks. Do Even Jawbreaker was better. Does this have the rocket? Like the other one does. It doesn't seem to. So Spear can do like normal power attack into an uppercut. I can't do that with this. Huh. That's just kind of a downside. So if I mess up my timing, I just got a hard fit to it, I guess. Major damage. Okay. Two short rangers. I'm like, no, right, chat? <laughs> Don't want them. Funny enough, there's something called Tiger Driver, which needs Crouch 9, Grapple 10, but 91 fists to learn. So we're gonna be there a while. So we need to have counter strike at 10. I've ca or counter attack at 10. And that's already done. I could swap this out for one in counter strike just to make sure we have this. Otherwise, we have over 10 uses of grapple so far. Do we need to unlock the other abilities? And then I want to make sure after counter strike I'll put on toss to learn the other moves. So we're gonna do really try to be really careful to not let the crabs get by. Oh, 
That one's painful. We missed one, but that should still be fine. So I think we got like six, six, and six, so I think I need two more. This thing. Never mind, we found the beach that has it. Whatever, I'll do your dumb little music game. So many menus you have to do in order to choose it. Right, Chad? Like, look how much stuff I'm doing just to try one more attempt. Insane. Is it really the second option that I skipped? It likes it. I don't like it. You do whatever you want, I guess, though. I like how he likes it, he goes further away from me. This mechanic sucks, chat. Like, if they're ever gonna remake this game, please don't make me go, like, full screen like this. This is dumb. How did he not talk to it? Game, please. I definitely bumped into him. That's not fair. That's not fair, chat. That was not fair. I definitely hit confirm before he teleported. Unfortunate. I think I need, like, three more crabs. We only missed one, which is fine. But if we averaged about six per room, which I think we did... We have one where it's like a freebie because they'll tell us how many crabs we killed. Also, one thing that's neat about the gloves is even if you're not really good at the loops, if you do a couple jabs into a full combo, you almost always stun basic enemies. So I did that mental barrier. Interesting. I did that in order to uh, stunlock a lot of bosses when I first played. Mental barrier is 10 counter attack, 1 counter strike. So we know we have that out of the way. Since I think we're just missing the counter strike usage. So let's change this to... What do I not like we have? Maybe double jump 8? No, I feel like we already have double jump, right? Oh, well, maybe not. Let's do double jump then. We're slowly getting to a point where it actually matters what I have. So somewhere in the next 10, I can just get rid of grapple finally and learn the other ones. So we need to get toss and bash at some point. I guess I could do three and toss while I'm here. That's easy enough to do. You definitely have enough in evade, I'm not worried about that. Giant swing. Oh, grab moves are so big. If, if the specials didn't have such a big windup, it wouldn't be a problem, but man, they really do, and it really is. Why a crab has a tortoise shell is another question. He's grab. Why? Why did he go through me? Game, come on. Man, it is gonna be so hard to showcase fist. Okay, if you do like one, two. Oops. It does add to the stun meter. I feel like the first hit in the combo doesn't usually add stun, but the second does. If you're used to doing, like, two hit loops, you get a nice stun out of it. Okay, so that should be more than enough. So we, we got more than five in every area. We should be good. Oh, I found the boss. So, if we average 5 per room, which we definitely did, that means I killed over 20. So we're good. We'll just ignore the boss. He 
stepped on 28 crowns. King of demons. By the way, this number does not include me. Murder. Okay, so we're good. So yeah, we, we beat that total. I only let, I think, two get away. That's pretty good. King of demons, chat. Here's the reference to Trials of Mana. There we go, chat. Let's chuck him. Yeah! Take that giant full battle hugger. Oh, and it's stunned? Hell yeah. Awesome. <laughs> go to heaven. This is so fun, chat. Northern Lights time. Dunk! <laughs> Look at the damage we're doing. Oh. We're out of there. Look at this loop. This loop is cheesy. Cheesy. Oh, I remember the fist combos. I love fist. Awesome the air. Reset him. God tier. He's a ghost indeed. I love fist. It's so cheesy, chat. It, it's fist stun so fast compared to other weapons. It's so cheesy. See, you don't even need to do, like, L1 cancels with Fist. Just give him a toss, it's over. Valerie. I ain't gonna leave you alone anymore. And the best part is if you stun them, you can hit them a couple times into your stun special and re-stun them. So you just, you just infinite them. Stream ID, cheers, cheese tier list. I don't know how I would rank that, though. We'll be together forever. David, my love, let's go back to your ship. And Valerie, like with being a pirate, we can be together. My heart's all set to give it up, give it all up for you. I think East would just be number one, because the cave is so broken. No, you can't. Go back to your ship. You used to talk about how you wanted to see the world. Don't you remember saying that when we were kids? I remember, but I was too young to know any better. Bring back sea monster treasure. I'll beat up all the monsters so they won't attack you, Val. I did say that, but you said something about an egg. No, let's talk about laying an egg in the future. Aren't I silly? I'm only dreaming about having an egg. Valerie. Now go. I'm gonna hate you if you don't. Go back to your ship. Valerie. I'll, I'll come back to you. Ten years later. No, even if it be a hundred years later. Come back as a captain, with a hundred penguins under my wing. Don't forget this. It's a vow to you. Ah, I'll be back when all monsters are gone from every sea. So long, love. <laughs> it's like, it's like chat, number one, white cat. <laughs> Alright, chat, just list, list over. <laughs> Almost impossible to top that. David. David. I won't be able to live with a pirate. Touch the egg myself. That's what's best for our happiness. Got ish plat- Oh, we got platinum? Damn, we could have had that so much earlier. Summer loving. Look at the crab chat. What a crab face. Yeah, I did. I wasn't sure if I wanted to trim the black bars that were naturally in the console or not. I guess I could trim it more. That's how we stream it. It's on the fence whether it mattered. The problem is that it's like wider than it is tall, so it would not fully fit if I did that. You stream mascot unimpressed crab. I mean, in theory.
Could shrink it down, technically. But yeah, Fist is so fun, chat. When you combine it with Grapple, Whirl, and Toss, this leads to some truly stupid combos against bosses. They're not great in crowd clear for the obvious reason their range is terrible. But man oh man, the, the amount of stun Fist builds compared to some of the other weapons, ridiculous. Yeah, I've been meaning to replace a couple of emotes at some point. So if chat does have other requests, let me know. Because I know some just aren't used at all. Some might as well rotate them out. I'm gonna feel so sad not using Toss, though. That was like one of the early skills I rushed, that and Whirl. Mm. It basically solved every scenario. What I like about the special skills is that if you don't know how to do the other cancels, like how you could do like power attack into uppercut on spear, for example, which is a natural combo, uh, I do like the fact that you can end your attack combo with one of those. Gotta keep this one too good for Tilted. Yeah, it's definitely Tilted on the Salt, uh, or not the Salt one, the uh, attacking bonuses. I guess we could do a couple more. I don't want to make this video too long for the other one. So let's actually go to Palpata Harbor for the first time. Actually, let me get the fruits and stuff here first. Change my mind. Yeah, so sadly, Mush in a Box, I don't think adds any to our stats, by the way. Oat still shed is amazing, but we haven't grown it yet, sadly. Oh, well, there's the rhino loaf or whatever it's called. I guess. Apartments. All my stuff, game, please. Actually, I'm curious if having the bonus saves will mess up the quest order. I didn't really think about that until now. Because technically, one of them is a quest. Hmm. I think we're so deep in the game, it doesn't matter anymore, at least. That is a lot of oblong seeds. I might as well plant them. Good to finally have some fruit variety here. We'll go to the other orchard, and then we'll start off Popata Harbor. So technically, we have a save file for Chocobo Racing. So that would give us another... I think it's an event item. It's been a very long time since I played to the point to getting to Popata Harbor. Now we're going into the I've done it before technically territory, but I don't remember it that well. Let's check the food. And then eventually we'll feed the pet more. Ideally, you'll just end up getting like nothing but like 40 to 50 toadstool sheds because they give 0.25 to everything and then 0.125 to resist. So if you just feed them over and over and over again, they become basically unkillable. Although I think Boar Melon and Cabadillo were fine for defense. Probably give those over without introducing any like super terrible traits to the pet. Oh, that's not a lot of produce. Feel a little cheated there, not gonna lie. Please grab it, hello. Oh, 
more crooked seeds, a flat seed. A double flat. Oh, I only have one flat seed. Ooh, that's awkward. Um, a double long then. Do crooked crooked. Yeah, let's go to Pulpata Harbor. That'll probably be the final quest of the night. And we'll try something else, I guess, afterwards. As I said before, I gotta edit this together, so this will be a, a sizable video. So we did about an hour of quests on the other video before the softlock. Tree still creeps me out. It reminds me of the fun fruit trees. Oh no. Poor Dango. Jeez, where do we even go to start this quest? Is it the hotel? Question mark. I mean, they're bombing to the music. Did you just see something? Ah! Can't take it anymore. You know anyone who's not scared of ghosts? I'm gonna say Inspector Boyd. Or can I say I can help? Just like I can say I can help. Please, I'll reward you. Ground dreams. Thanks. I have to save the, uh... Of the little ghost that appears as we go through. Let's explore a little bit. It's only the minerals I mined around here. Let's see how good they are. Well, I can go straight to gold if I want to. But that some people don't feel safe at the seaside hotel anymore. I'm gonna say because of a ghost. How scary! There's no ghost. Lamshi. Ghosts? Oh, someone's just pulling a prank. I'm a ghost. Exactly. I'm Flamshi, a mermaid, as you can see. Pleased to meet you. A ghost is just somebody's trick. I can't believe everyone is getting so worked up over it. Oh, maybe I should play Ghost Trick. Oh, I've been meaning to play that on stream at some point. Maybe that'll be my gift to the stream. That is quite a game. Although getting it set up to be PC friendly is a whole nother question. I'm Toma, Imperial Soldier. I'm investigating the Imperial ship that sank ten days ago. Hmm? What is it? Ask about the ghost. I wonder about the ghost myself. <laughs> you just don't have anything to say about that. I guess I'll ask about the ship. The ship was headed to the port by secret command of the Emperor. The weather was fair that day truly is a mystery. Hmm. Sank in broad daylight, huh? Not too many things can do that. Okay, so basically by talking to the other people, we should be good to go. I don't think I need to talk to anybody else. Talk to you, though. Do you have any fun items in here? Ooh, look at the difference in strength already. So, we picked up gloves that are as good as the gold gloves, to give Chad an idea. We could just buy a golden spear at this point. I might as well ask. I, I'm sorry, that gives how much defense? Question mark? Well, that is a massive defense increase. <laughs> right, chat? Like, oh. This probably would have helped earlier. I think chat would agree. Just, oh. Well, we could have had that way earlier in the game. Uh, let's get rid of the iron stuff. We don't really need these anymore. Leave the armor in there for the other character. I don't want to sell our instrument. We need that. Oh yeah, I have all these wind caps I could use to get money if I need it to. That's kind of funny. The 
Grand Sphere does spell sell for a lot if I want to sell it. The Super Sword only sells for 900 for some reason. It's a Mawaki world that makes sense. Revive Ring might be worth selling, honestly. Just wanted to even out our cash a little more. So yeah, we could repeatedly do other things to make money. But technically, if we never use the produce, we could get an okay amount of cash there. Resisting urge to spam ghost command. Am I gonna have to shorten its cooldown for the chat? I think right now it's on cooldown. I'm sure there's from probably a weird way to do items on that menu. The fact that it remembers you deleted it makes me wonder. What happens if you purchase an item? Oh, hello. Don't get fresh with me. I'm not like you commoners. Seen in a ghost. No way. Don't like beggars. Shoo, shoo. Oh, call the ghost. Why, it's Mr. Fish. Is Revanash performing today? Yes, she is. Her dancing is even sexier than before. Not a word I would have expected in Legend of Mana, but sure. All right, I'll rent the whole hall. It's 50,000 lucre. Thank you very much. But you know how Levinash hates that lecherous fish. What can we do? We've lost all of our customers since the ghost came. Trying to squeeze that newly rich fish for all he's worth. Yes, you're right. Poor Chad. craving of chat to hear that sound effect is so high. I think I will get my ghost fix. Ludana thinks it's Terrace Pharma. That that's pretty that's pretty on point for Ludana to be honest. Of, of course it's Terrace Pharma. Of course it is. Give me one second chat. I'm looking for something. I'm a ghost. It's very important we look that up. <laughs> I've rented the place out. This plant is mine. saw the inspector anywhere. Right, chat? There he is. Inspector Boyd on duty. Any news? Ask about the ghost. Oh, one that haunts the Seaside Hotel. What nonsense. Ask about the ship. Heard it sick. The weather was clear. Maybe it was engine trouble. Yeah, I don't believe that. Ask about the basket fish. He rented out the entire theater for a single potted plant. I mean, he's rented it for the dancing, I guess. He's so arrogant due to his unbelievable inheritance. Hmm. Well, you sure are thorough. Quite impressive. Is there anything else? Let's ask about him. You suspect me. You're right. Came here on assignment. The jewel hunter left a note here. And said he would, she would take the blue eye. If you see anyone with blue eyes, report to me immediately. Gee, chat. I wonder what'll happen. Um. I forget who had blue eyes. I don't remember. Oh. Is it Toma? The one we couldn't see the eyes of? What, the Imperial Soldier? I see, I'll check it out. I was gonna say, he had a helmet on. I don't think we could tell that. I mean, obviously it's not gonna be him, but it's more like... We'll at least advance a little further. I feel like we just did a solid for the Jewel Hunter. Also, doesn't the fish have blue eyes? Yeah, they're doing the little dance there up on stage. This should trigger a cutscene, I think, by going out here now.
This is probably one of the longer non-combat side quests, because we just gotta walk around a lot. Uh, so he's no longer here. Where did he go? Where is he? I must have missed him in the hotel somewhere. Oh, actually, there's a whole other location I never went to. Oops. Let's go check that out. How do I get over there? Maybe I go to the bottom right? There we go. That makes more sense, I guess. Oh, there's Gilbert. I am Toma, Imperial Soldier. Do you have any information regarding the shipwreck? Underbase, underestimate the sea at your own risk. Right, right. I may be right. Hi, Gilbert. Wait a second, I don't know if it's true. There's a guy called Basketfish. Said he sees everything that happens under the sea. Basket? It's at the seaside hotel, drew it over that dancer. Thanks, I'll go check it out. Bye, Gilbert. We're gonna talk to you later at some point. Or we cause bad things to happen. Yeah, I always messed up his quest line because it's possible to do them out of order and it makes you get into serious trouble. Ask if it, huh? What a stupid name. You, you, stop! Here's my card. Inspector Boyd. Discovered a clue regarding the Imperial ship and the hotel ghost. Imperial ship and the ghost. What do you think? Would you mind helping me out? Mm, certainly. Why, thank you, Mr. What was your name? Toma. Right, Mr. Toma, let's go. There we go, I think we're now done with the quest. Busy right now. Tomo of the Imperial Army. Do you know anything about the shipwreck? I don't know anything. Leave me alone. Say, I heard you're very wealthy. That's pretty amazing. Dot dot dot. <laughs> you inherited an incredible jewel. May I see it? Hmm, I don't know. It's called the Blue Eye, and it shows everything that happens in the ocean. Let me see it, please. Might tell us how the ship. No. I want to see the Blue Eye, too. All right. Wow. We've been ordered to attain the ultimate firearm by our Lord. Opata may have an important clue about it. Our Lord has given us permission to use force if necessary. We must succeed, men. Yes, sir. Back to your posts. Captain Tona. What is the matter? A sea hag's coming towards us. Sea hag, do not listen to its voice, men. Uh oh, it's the song from Lumina. It's played when we're doing Gilbert in Love. The soundtrack, it's too powerful. I see. So a sea hag sank it. How pitiful. Guagua! The truth of our death. Hand me the blue eye. The blue eye! Alright, I'll give you the eye. Don't curse me. I was so scared. I didn't know ghosts ran. Inspector Void on duty. The large question regarding your inheritance. My inheritance is gone! Huh? What about the blue eye? Don't you see, Inspector? The ghost came and took it away. 
Or didn't you see, excuse me? Huh? Go start real, wake up! What? You were here, weren't you? Here? Me? Blast it. It was the jewel hunter. I bet that ghost was too. No! He just foam out of his mouth. What the heck happened there? Thank you so much for solving the ghost mystery. This is the reward I promised. Pirate's hook. So we have one of the final relics slash artifacts of the game. Brown dreams. How does it feel, Chan? Only one left. I mean, we have others to place at some point, but that's the last one we're going to touch, at least for now. Let's save, give our thoughts. I think this should make a sufficient video for later. I'm probably going to leave a little bit in of the soft lock of the original run. So sad, chat. That's off lock. It's important to see this off lock. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure it's in the funnel tub for sure. Basket fish, too weird, chat. I think we'll go over the cactus diaries at the end of the game. I thought about doing them at the end of each session, but I changed my mind. Like, we'll just read them all at once at the end. Fondly look back at all the quests that we completed. Hey, we're like 42 out of 68 quests completed. Unfortunately, some of them were kind of long. But we'll probably be done in like two sessions more, maybe? As I said before, we only have a couple of long ones left. And I'm cutting today short. Or else I think we'd probably get another three events or so. Damn, let's chat how we feel things went. Well, I guess mission accomplished. We got past the soft lock. We finally got weapon upgrades, one of which I could have gotten slightly earlier. But in terms of armor upgrades, it's nice to see that there's better options. Believe it or not, there's still yet another town we have not placed. <laughs> We've been avoid avoiding placing it because it triggers a certain bad thing to happen to Gilbert. So that'll probably be one of the last things that we place. Unless we're very, very specific. Yeah, even looking at this, it looks like we complete the other event before we place the city. Yeah, there's a couple of bad endings you could get in some of the events, and it causes the quest chain to basically fail. We've managed to avoid all of those, but if we place Geo too early, which is the last city that I've been holding on to this whole time, uh, then something can happen out of order, and it will skip events, which is bad for us. So we've fortunately avoided that issue so far. The yeah, Anchan, I don't think I have anything else to really add there, so we'll say goodbye to you two for now. Future me has to go edit this, which will be fun. So, thank you again for watching, and hope to see you again in the next part, I guess, YouTube.